Cause if you catch me at the border, I got visas in my name If you come around here, I'll make a more day I get one down in a second if you wait I fly like paper, get high like... Hey guys, man, it's Noah here. I was reading the book um, over the weekend and I came across the definition of self-discipline and what it was was the ability to make yourself do what you should do when you should do it whether you feel like it or not and the reason this kinda made me stop and think was because I think in baseball this characteristic this quality may be one of the top determining factors in guys that continue to progress continue to develop and move up from high school to college to professional and then hopefully one day to the major league level. If you look at baseball and you're looking to get to that top level, to the top of the mountain, to the major leagues, to be a 10-year plus player at the major league level, it's going to take a lot of repetition, of doing things over and over again. Baseball might be the most repetitious sport there is. You will take hundreds of thousands of ground balls. You will hit hundreds of thousands of balls in BP. You do things over and over and over again. And after a while, it gets boring. One of the biggest things you have to learn in baseball is to get over the boredom sometimes, to be able to do these things and get your work in, even though you may think they're simple and you don't need to do it every day. That's something you need to learn, is to be able to get a routine and to do these things that seem monotonous and boring, to be able to do them over and over again, because the more you do them, the better you'll get at them. And sometimes you don't want to do them. And sometimes you can say, well, I took ground balls yesterday, or well, I... I hit yesterday or the day before, and you can just say, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. But if you have the self-discipline and the players that I see that are very, very good, the great defenders, the great hitters, those are the guys that have the self-discipline to say, I need to go do it again. Yes, I took ground balls yesterday, but I'm going to take them again today, and I'm going to take them again tomorrow. That's what the really, really good players do. They don't need somebody to come and get them and say, let's go take ground balls. Or for a coach to say, hey, did you get your ground balls in today? Did, did you get your tee work in today? They're the guys that are going and taking the initiative and getting the coaches and say, hey, will you come hit me some ground balls? Or, hey, can you come throw me some extra batting practice in the, in the cage? That's what I notice about the really, really good players. And it doesn't only come into play with the major parts of the game, the ground balls and the batting practice and the catching fly balls, but it's the smaller details, the, the base running, getting out there early and having the self-discipline to work on your base running, to work on your leads, on your jumps, uh, in the outfield, to work on uh, your reads off the bat, to work on your bunting, your bunting for base hits, your sacrifice bunting. If you want to continue to develop and play at a high level, it's the small parts of your game that are going to be the determining factor of whether you play over somebody else. Talent levels start to even out as you get older, and it's the smaller part of the game that give you an edge over someone else or give someone else the edge over you. Can they bunt? Are they good base runners? Can they steal a base? Can they hit and run? Can they control the bat? Do they play good defense? Whatever it may be. And it takes self-discipline to work on these things and to get these things to be strengths in your game and to have them be better than the guy you're competing against. So if you want to continue to improve and see your game develop, self-discipline is going to be a huge part of it.